Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. So today we're going to be talking about the Laori hair extensions. I'm going to take you through uh, the facts about them. I'm going to take you through full demonstrations on how I clip mine in. And then also the pros, the cons, just everything about them, my own personal thoughts and everything. So let's get started. I know what you're probably thinking, you're probably a like, cat, you already have really long hair, why are you getting hair extensions? And you're right, I do have really long hair, but personally in my opinion, I find hair extensions have so many different uses than just adding length to your hair. For example, I do have really long hair, but my hair is very flat. When I flat iron it, it becomes very stick straight to my head, body whatsoever, and just very blah. So first and foremost, of course, they can give you length. Great for people with shorter hair that maybe want to try out longer hair that um, are growing out their hair, but maybe they want to just have it long really fast. Perfect for that. It's also really great for, again, those of us who have very, maybe long hair, but just very straight hair. This is a great way to add body um, and texture to the hair as well. Three is that maybe you don't want to color your hair and maybe you... Or maybe you want to eventually get highlights in your hair, but you're not sure what color you want to get. Or maybe you don't want to actually damage your hair, but you want the highlights, if that makes sense. So you get hair extensions of a different shade of your hair. Maybe you go a couple shades lighter if you want highlights, or go shade, a couple shades deeper if you want some low lights. And you can do it that way as well, or you can kind of create the ombre effect, or in my, in my case, um, enhance the ombre effect. Number four is that they can be awesome for hairstyles. Sometimes you'll be creating that braid and you're like, I wish I just had a little extra hair today to kind of do that full thick braid, or I wish I had an extra piece of hair to really do that sleek, um, you know, wrap around, something like that, they can really come in handy for that as well. Those are personally my different ways that hair extensions can be really useful. Let's go ahead and talk about the ones that I'm using. So the ones that I have in right now, the ones that I've been using are the Leori hair extensions. The ones that I personally have are 18 inches, 120 grams, and I do have all but one four clip weft and one three clip weft and then one single weft. I just wanted to do a couple pieces to kind of show you um, how I insert them and everything like that. This is what I'm really comfortable with and again I did leave my hair straight. Kind of hide imperfections when you have your hair curled. So I wanted to leave it straight here for you guys. So the Laori hair extensions come in three different sizes. You have the 18 inch, the 20 inch. Something that I really like about the Laori hair extensions is that they are completely 100% rummy hair which is the finest human hair that you can use for hair extensions. In addition to that they are very very affordable compared to other hair extensions companies. So for the 18 inch 120 grams, which is what I have in, and again I don't have all of the pieces in, so you could even get bigger hair, it's $99. That's amazing to see a hair extension um, company offering something under the price of $100, especially for 18 inches and 120 grams. That's amazing to me. Then it has the 20 inches, I believe, are 119, and then the 22 inches are 159, with uh, 22 inches of other brands are over past the 200 mark. So again, saving quite a bit of money here with this brand, and quality is still there, you guys. That's what's so amazing. You do receive your hair extensions. You get this little kit like this. In this pouch right here, you get a tester. So open this first with any hair extensions that you ever use. Open this first. Color match it to yourself. If it doesn't work out, you can send it back. No questions asked. Get a different color, something like that. They also give you this card, which I thought is so handy. I was so excited that they included this. And because it has all the instructions on how to use these, how to keep them um, at their fullest life, just how to work with them and how to take care of them. And that's something that I, when I got these, I was like, I don't really know much about hair extensions. I don't know what to do. So this was really helpful for me. If you are a beginner with hair extensions, girlfriend, I feel you. We are together in this and we're going to clip them in together. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be really fast, really easy. So the demonstrations are going to be in my ladies room. That way I'm going to be standing up so you can see just how long, because they actually are longer, they're out of frame, how long they are and you'll be able to see everything really well um, in there as well. You can brush these, you can straighten them, you can curl them, you can wash them, you can do everything that you would do with your normal hair. Treat them like they are your natural hair. And what's so funny is they legitimately feel like your hair. It's the weirdest thing to me. So now let's go ahead and get into the demonstration. First thing that I like to do is if I want more length than what my natural hair is, just a little bit more length, I'll start going lower than my ears. You have your neck and then right where your head, like you can actually feel your head. And then I'll start to take that up, I'll put it in a little bun. I do personally uh, prefer clips when doing this, it makes it a lot easier, but I could not find any for the life of me. So I use my hair tie. Start with the four clip weft. 
my four clips, I like to start inserting the two middle ones first into my head, get those secure, and then pull the two on the side outwards. That way it's going to be stretched out completely, and it's not going to have any loose, or it's not going to sag in the middle to where it's not going to be very secure. That's what I personally find works the best, and that's just what I really like to do. So what I like to do is I put my hair up again, just maybe about an inch above what I had just done, maybe an inch or two inches. And what I did is I put in one three-clip weft just right on the back of my head. I left the sides here alone because I don't want too much volume out this way as I want to kind of lift the back of my head. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. It's just my personal preference. Put my hair back down, then do about another inch. Lift my hair up, and then I take two two-clip wefts, one on each side right here. So if I can show them to you. So you can kind of see the color difference of up here, but as you see, the lower you get down to my hair, it matches perfectly into the rest of my hair. And I personally like to do those two clips pretty close to my bang area because it kind of frames my face, and I want the most warmth right here as well. I show this in the demonstration too. This is what it looks like to my roots. I wasn't trying to match it to my roots though. Ew. Trying to match it to down here, which it matches perfectly with. Because uh, I kind of have an ombre effect going on. I ombre my hair myself, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I wanted a nice, beautiful, rich color to enhance that and add more warmth. So, the first pro is the price. Again, I already talked about all the price points. I love how affordable they are for hair extensions because hair extensions are not cheap. Another pro is the color. So, I'm not just talking about the actual color here, but I'm talking about the vibrancy and I'm talking about how sometimes, have you ever seen those hair extensions that are overly shiny and you're just like, that's not normal, that's not natural, it doesn't look natural, it really stands out. These aren't like that, but then on the contrary, they're not dull and horse hair where it just looks really flat and coarse. The pro is the thickness all the way from the tip to the end right here. Sometimes that's another thing with hair extensions where they'll be really thick up top, but as you get closer to the ends, they become really stringy. It doesn't look normal either. It doesn't look very natural. You can totally tell that you're wearing hair extensions. So that's something that I really, really like that these do. Another one is the clips. They clips hold on so secure to your head. They make it so easy. Literally, I can pull on my hair and not feel like my hair extensions are going to come out. And talking about the clips is they don't hurt my head, which is something that's so amazing. So going along with that is I start to feel these in my head feel a little bit pressure about three to four hours in and it's not any unusual pressure it's something I haven't felt before it honestly feels in case you are curious if you've never worn hair extensions and you're kind of like are they gonna hurt throughout the day what do they feel like to me personally it feels like when you have bobby pins in your hair so if you have your hair pinned back and you put bobby pins tight right there that's what it feels like after about four hours so it's nothing I haven't felt before it's not painful it just can get a little bit uncomfortable if you're not used to hair extensions like I'm not because you have quite a few of them um, depending on how many you put in your hair it's not painful or anything so I thought I would throw that in there as well in case you are curious because that was something that I was really curious about so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful maybe found some new hair extensions to try out if you have been curious and I will have their website down below not an affiliate link anything like that I'll just have their website down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself kind of color match yourself see what would work for you so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel that way you can stay up to date with all of my upcoming videos I'll see you in my next one